right, all right, all right. I would like to welcome you amazing people out there to another episode of The Question Mark. And today we have a very interesting case of a Nissan Murano of 2008, which decided to start overheating on its own. I mean, the car just decided to one day start overheating without any pre-warnings. Why will it do that? Why? Well, I would like you to join me into this detective work. This is Nelson from The Question Mark, and right on, let's get to the bottom of this. Well, this is our Nissan Murano. It's a beautiful black SUV, as you can see. And the engine, it's not very well, but we are going to deal with that oil leak later. Um, you can see that we, if the engine is QRA25DE, a 2.5 liters engine. And here is our problem. Our car is overheating. And as you can see, the reservoir coolant is boiling and it's making some weird noises. You may think it's a racing car. Uh, it is almost fun and terrifying at the same time. So the first thing we are going to do is to see if the cooling fans of this engine is, are working well. There are two cooling fans and they have low, mid and high levels of spinning. So I'm going to use the X-Tool D7 to test them and see if they are responding to engine computer commands. As you can see, I'm going to turn it to low and mid and high. And uh, we are going to see if the fans are responding accordingly. So, the fans are working and the signal from the computer is getting to the fans well and uh, we can rule out the circuitry of the fans and the fans themselves. So, what is the other thing? What can cause this engine to overheat? Because we can see that the water was boiling and the fans were not opening. The second culprit we are going to check is the engine coolant temperature sensor. This sensor is the one which is used to detect the coolant temperature and send it to the engine computer. And the, after the engine computer uh, process this signal, it's going to determine when to open the uh, to to to, uh, to turn on the engine cooling fans and when to turn them off so if this signal is not good the engine computer is not good is not going to open or operate the cooling fan accordingly right here we can see the signal is very glitchy as you can see it's playing around 70 and 90 degrees and it's not stable normally coolant temperature cannot play around like that uh, it will go up gradually or down gradually so um, right away we can see there is a problem with that temperature sensor or the circuitry and to prove that we are going to use another measuring tool which is a multimeter uh, with a uh, temperature sensor coupler and uh, we're going to compare the signal uh, from the temperature sensor of the engine to the signal of the temperature sensor of the multimeter and uh, we will know and we can prove this temperature sensor from the engine is lying to the ECM. So here we go. 
Okay, the multimeter is already connected and uh, as you can see the uh, coupler is inside the reservoir and uh, it's reading 92 degrees centigrade but the signal from the engine coolant temperature sensor is reading uh, like 97, 70, around 79, 78 as you can see there and uh, I, I can tell you something is very wrong with this temperature sensor or its circuit so my fellow detectives we have collected evidence and it's pointing down to the temperature sensor but before we judge it we should not uh, ignore the circuitry itself so I went ahead uh, behind the camera I'm sorry and uh, I measured the voltages uh, the voltage of um, uh, it's called the reference voltage the 5 volt reference voltage which comes to the temperature sensor itself and um, uh, it's a two wire sensor so we have a 5 volt reference and a negative or ground wire and I tested both of those cables those wires and they are well uh, we have a 5 volt and we have ground and um, uh, right away we can now uh, go and replace the temperature sensor itself because there is no any other culprit we can we can come up with so I, I'm going ahead and show you how we did that we, we are going to open the uh, we are going to open or remove the temperature sensor and uh, we are going to replace it then after that we will go and, and see what um, what kind of data is going to the ECM through we are going to see that through our uh, X tool D7 uh, that machine uh, is a very good one and um, uh, soon enough I'm going to make a video about that I'm going to review the machine I'm going to tell you the um, the, 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 the ups and downs of that machine but today let's just uh, go and see what it tells us So we went ahead and replaced the sensor and after replacement the data from the scan tool was showing the correct value and what is more exciting the fans are now operating but they are not cooling down the engine as it, they should we came to realize the coolant was low after adding some coolant the engine was operating as normal Thank you for watching this video. Until the next one, goodbye.